Let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever dreamed of being invisible? I mean, come on, we've all been there, right? We probably all wanted Harry Potter's invisibility cloak at some point, but what you may not know is that reality may be closer than you think. But rather than being a cloak of magic, incredibly complex technology would need to be developed, and there are a number of institutions currently trying to be the first to successfully develop one. There are obvious benefits to the development of cloaking technology, especially for military applications. For centuries, soldiers have worn uniforms that help them blend into the background, and stealth jets have been designed to evade detection by radar. But as far as we know, creating a true cloak of invisibility has eluded researchers until now. Proof of concept designs have occasionally made the headlines, such as cars fitted with LED screens on one side and cameras on the other. These may trick an observer from one specific angle, but fail to work in real-world scenarios. There are a number of ways in which objects can be detected, far beyond being able to see the light that bounces off them. For example, sonar works by emitting sound waves and interpreting what bounces back to paint an accurate picture of the area being scanned, and similar techniques can be used with electromagnetic radiation waves. Researchers trying to develop stealth materials have to take all these into account. After all, what's the use of making something invisible to the human eye when most detection methods don't involve light waves at all? So let's talk a little about the latest breakthroughs. Canadian scientists working in Montreal have recently announced a discovery that could bring the reality of an invisibility cloak much closer to reality with a process they call spectral cloaking. The process uses a cloak that actually changes the frequency of light. As light approaches, it is altered so it passes through the object that is being hidden and once it reaches the other side, it's returned to normal. From a casual observer's point of view, all they would see is the light as they would expect to see it. The researchers describe this as turning the light into a ghost that can pass through an object and then be returned to normal. Right now, this method only works under controlled conditions, but the scientists behind it believe that it could one day be used to cloak objects from being seen in our everyday environment. Another team of researchers in Canada, this time from Toronto, have developed another method that could cloak objects from being seen and detected by other methods too. By using an ultra-thin layer of antennae, they are able to completely cancel any reflection from radar or can change the perceived dimensions of the object by making it seem bigger, smaller, or even in a completely different location than it truly is. At the moment, calculations have to be done manually, but as the technology progresses, it's expected to be able to automatically tune in to the frequencies it's trying to protect against. This method works with radio waves, but researchers say the principles are the same when dealing with terror hertz radiation and even light waves. Beyond its use for making objects appear invisible, it can also be used to improve communications by allowing signals to pass through objects that currently block them, such as tunnels or large buildings. And as researchers understand more about materials that are able to produce properties that don't occur naturally, also known as metamaterials, the ability to appear invisible will inevitably become possible. This will begin in military arenas, of course, where covert missions will become safer and more successful as a result. But there's also a range of ways that this can be useful in civilian projects as well. Metamaterials can be used in medicine and could give us the ability to look at viruses and maybe even DNA by manipulating light waves. They can be used to significantly improve communication reliability and hide objects that need to be kept top secret. Of course, this does raise a lot of ethical concerns and it is a technology that would need to be carefully monitored. As much as there are good uses, invisibility clothes could also be used by thieves or even more dangerous criminals to commit crimes. So in conclusion, in the past few years, developments in invisibility technology have progressed substantially, but there's still some ways to go. But it's a goal that researchers are actively working towards, and there's no scientific reason why it shouldn't be possible. So one day, you might just be able to use an invisibility cloak to get into those forbidden rooms in Hogwarts. Thank you all so much for watching, and let us know what you think about having invisibility cloaks in real life, and whether or not you think they should be deployed. And if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up. Up. See you next time.